everybody, it's Jackie Armadillo and I am here today on a beautiful uh, Monday afternoon. It is August 1st, 2016 and I wanted to bring you some encouraging words today. And my husband and I have been experiencing this uh, for a couple of weeks now and the kids have been a little antsy, a little frustrated, uh, frustrated because they have been home so much because of uh, summer vacation and uh, you know my husband and I still have to work and uh, my mother-in-law still stops in to make sure the kids are okay and what happens is that they get on each other's nerves a lot and they, um, they've they been you know one's 11 and one just turned 13 not too long ago and uh, so we're about to have a preteen and we already have a teenager in the house so if you guys have uh, teenagers and you know exactly what I'm talking about but um, we are new to having a teenager in the house. So that is a difficult thing right now. Um, they're constantly picking on each other. And so by the time my husband comes home, I tell him the report of the day, what happened and uh, so forth. Uh, sometimes we have to, you know, show some discipline to the children. And uh, we have to take away, you know, uh, games, uh, the Xbox or, you know, TV or the Wii U or whatever. Things like that we have to discipline and, you know, they're not always happy about it. But um, sometimes before what would happen was that my husband would get upset about the fact that we have to discipline the children and then it would affect me and him because, you know, we're upset about having to get upset with them. So it would, it would kind of ruin the rest of the evening. And we have learned over the past couple years, um, and I say past couple years because um, my kids, uh, they're my stepchildren. And so I'm new to parenting and um, we have learned not to let the, I guess, when the children get in trouble, I have learned, and we have learned not to let that get in the way of um, our marriage because before it would. And sometimes you, I think, I would think that a lot of couples feel like it goes hand in hand with being married. Uh, with you know your children are going to, to be a part of course your relationship but once that happens it um, if you decide to bring in um, that problem or whatever happened with the kids you know into the bedroom you know it's gonna it, you're gonna make a big problem for yourself for you and your husband um, or your spouse you you and your spouse and that's gonna be um, something very hard to do because then you can enjoy your relationship with your spouse. So eventually my husband and I started talking about it and said, you know what, even though the children get upset and, and they get in trouble, we can't let that come into our bedroom. So once the discipline is um, done, we have told them they can't watch TV or they can't play the Xbox, we get after them. And then once we go to the bedroom, that stayed outside. You know, we can't bring that into the bedroom because if we are, if we don't present a united front towards the children and if we are upset with each other, me and my husband, um, then it's not going to make the situation any better. So um, we had to learn over time that not to get upset with each other because, you know, we couldn't, you know, either one of us couldn't handle it or we're upset because we just got home from work um, and we have to come home to a stressful situation. You can't let the things that happen with the kids affect you and your spouse. Um, I know it's something that sounds really weird or very odd, um, but you, you just can't do that because you need um, the kids look up to you. So you and your spouse need to have it together for your children. And a lot of times that means that you have to kind of, uh, I guess, put it in certain sections. You, you have to carp, what is it, uh, carp, blah, blah, blah. what's it called? Carpent. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that you need to put things in sections. You have to uh, divide certain things. You can't bring those things in together. You can't, uh, if you get mad at your children, that does not mean that you and your husband are mad at each other. It just means that you did not have um, the best that you possibly could have had. Your children got upset um, or they got in trouble. You got upset at them. You had to discipline them and then you move on with your relationship with your husband or your wife. You can't um, continue to be upset with each other because the day didn't turn out perfect. You know, newsflash, the 
all days are not going to be perfect. So I just want to let you guys know of your parents out there, your step parents like I am, um, you're learning and we're learning every day. And apparently children do not come with an instruction book. I mean, who knew that? Um, so it's very difficult to raise children and um, just don't give up on your children. Um, we love our children. They know that we love them. And if we discipline them, it's because we love them. And we constantly tell them, even though we might have gotten mad at them, we may, may might have gotten frustrated because it happens so often. I mean, that's what's happening with us lately, that the kids get so frustrated with each other and it happens so often that us as parents, we just get really frustrated already. We get tired of hearing the same thing over and over. And it um, doesn't matter how many times you tell the kids, you know, um, they're kids and they're teenagers and they're at a certain place where, you know, you want to tell them you're no longer kids, but then when it comes to other things, they say, well, this movie is rated PG-13, can I watch it? Because I'm 13. I said, no, because you're still a kid. And they're like, well, I thought you said we're not kids. <laughs> so a lot of the times, um, you have to continue to explain to them that, yes, they're no longer children, but they're still teenagers, which still makes them children. Does that make any sense? Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so it just depends on your children if they're mature enough um, for certain things. And you know as their parents whether they are or they're not. And I just wanted to bring this to you and just to share with you guys what's happening in our life with when it comes to our, you know, uh, with our kids. And we're just like any other family and we have our problems, we have our ups and downs. And lately it's been with the children because they've been at each other's throats because they're two boys, 11 and 13 years old. And they're at home most of the day and um, they get frustrated, you know, it's just part of life. and. It's the growing pains that no one wants to talk about, but that's what it is. So I just want to tell you guys, if you guys are parents, it's okay. If you lose your cool, um, don't worry. You're not the only one out there struggling with this problem. And maybe you don't have teenagers, but maybe you have toddlers. I mean, hats off to you if you have more than one right now, because that is tough. I mean, I haven't been there in that part of my life. Um, but God has blessed me with two beautiful boys and I am very happy with what I have right now and you know but it doesn't mean that it's not frustrating sometimes to raise boys or it's not frustrating to raise children sometimes because my gosh they come up with the weirdest questions and sometimes they catch you off guard and of course we're expected to know the answer right away and I don't know the answer okay I don't know the answer so you know what it's okay if you get frustrated. It's okay if you get mad. You know, if you lose your cool and you're not supposed to say certain things or do certain things, you know what? Go back. Apologize to your children and forgive, forget, and move on. And, you know, there's just so much more life to live and experience um, and worth living than to be upset with your children or, you know, with your spouse because your children got in trouble. We're going to get frustrated. That's why God gave us these emotions. But, <clears throat> like I said in the other video, we're not meant to stay mad all the time. So try to figure out whatever is going on with your children before you go to bed. You know, don't let them go to sleep all angry and, you know, upset. Try to do your best, you know. I'm not going to say that it happens all the time, you know, that you accomplish that all the time. You know, sometimes you just want to put them to bed because you're tired. But it's okay. Don't worry. Don't give up. I just want to let you know, parents, you're not alone, even though I'm new at this, um, about three years, <laughs> uh, but you're not alone, you get frustrated, and it's okay, because you're a human too, just because you became a parent, doesn't mean that you automatic, automatically became like super mom or super dad, and you have all the answers to every single question, so you're going to be just fine, just trust God. He will give you the answers that you need to raise your children. Go check out the Bible. It's like number one top seller for like forever. Okay. So check out the Bible. Everything's in there that you need to know. Everything about raising your children is in there. Okay. And I wouldn't even raise issues about how to discipline your children because that's a whole other topic. And then I'm going to get probably a ton of comments about it. So to each their own. You know, you know your limits, 
and God loves you guys Jesus loves you guys don't give up don't give up on your children even if they want to make you just pull out all your hair okay and they just want to make you scream you know you love them you know you love them okay so and they love you right back and you know that you wouldn't know what to do without your children anyways so I just want to let you know you guys that that's what we've been going through I love you very much and don't give up on your kids love them they will love you right back and you know what they make your life you know they make your life I mean there's just I have no idea where I would be or what kind of person I'd be now without my kids it's just kind of weird now to think about that so I love my boys Bobby Ray and Samson they are my everything and even though they made me go crazy I wouldn't trade them for the world not one minute not I just wouldn't do it there's nothing better than having children okay they come up with the weirdest things <laughs> and it just makes life worth living so I love you guys I hope you like subscribe and comment below if you have any questions um, or anything that you might want to ask me comment below and I will see if I can respond to them as soon as possible so I love you guys and I hope to see you in the next one bye bye love you